What is there in this bill, if anything, that you think would be better than the current system? That's a really good question. So the bill has what's called a stabilization fund, billions and billions of dollars to go into the Affordable Care Act exchanges, which have been flagging. There have been insurance companies that have left. The premiums are rising. The exchanges are in trouble. The Republican bill does offer some structure to bolster that system. Democrats would say they've been asking for this kind of help for a while, and they just weren't able to get it until Republicans put it into their bill. But that seems to be needed to stabilize the system. I do think, again, if you are a younger American who might not need health coverage and you are now under the Affordable Care Act required to buy a plan that has all of these services that perhaps you feel like you don't need, I I understand the argument that Republicans are making that for these Americans, maybe there's too much constraint and they want to offer more options that way. But overall, it's hard to look at this bill, which the Congressional Budget Office has said will reduce coverage by 22 million people and raise premiums in the short term and see a lot of short-term winners.